Hey, what's up, guys? King Cry Fifty Nair back again after a really long time, like super long, like a billion years. So today's video, as you probably can tell by the title, I've got an Xbox 360 here, which I got off eBay for a very expensive price of three pounds and twenty pence. It's not including delivery, but I don't really count that because the Xbox and postage doesn't really count, but if you are wondering, I got it for £11 in total, including the post June, which was about £8.20 a year. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's actually really good. And here, I'll put it on camera. Got the Xbox here. It's a 360 Pro. You can tell here. It's non-HDMI. It's like the older versions. It's 2009. I'll show you the rest after. But here you go. It's got the chrome disc tray, of course. And it's actually still got a sticker here. It's going to be very hard for you guys to notice, but maybe you could tell. Like, surprisingly, even these slots, like, are broken. All the buttons are cool. Except this one here. Like, some places, it doesn't click properly. I'm not sure if that was, was with all of them, or just my one, but I don't really mind. And it's really good. It's a white one. The condition's actually fantastic. Like pretty much no marks and like no scratches at least. Like not even a scratch in sight, from what I've seen. On the shiny parts, yeah, like the disc tray, but on here, nothing notable. Not even any smudges on it. It's like a tiny thing there. Hey, let me zoom in. Here, right above there. Nah, but you guys don't see it. That's how small it is. Super small. You can see a bit of black there. It's a bit of smudge. I could wipe that off. Can't be bothered. Probably will. Um, here's the back. Alright, so you can see AV, got USB and Ethernet. Uh, it's a Xenon, so it's got the old uh, power, power socket. I'll even show it on this here. So, console. Yeah, let's turn it on the side. Alright, so let's see. You know, get some information. Okay, let's focus. Yeah, there you can see. Up here, Xbox 360, 2009, April 20th. Yeah, it's got the code there. It does match with the front. Uh, yeah, a Xenon, pretty sure it is. Can't be Opus because it's got a little dot in the middle of the power supply. And there you go, you got your IO. And another surprising thing to me. Was that on the top it came with this which a lot of time people well if you got the one with the hard drive it well didn't come with it but I, i'm pretty sure but people lose this anyways i was very surprised when i saw this pretty good condition i'd pay about 30 40 quid i paid three pounds and 20 pence so yeah uh yeah so i'll be back when i take the face plate off to show all right back guys so without the face plate here uh, yeah, it's got this sticker. It's either like the newer one, because I know it came on when you got yours refurbished. So either it's been like they sent it back, didn't they? So um, I think what happened, this guy had an arcade and it like probably red ringed or something. Then he got like this AV Pro back, yeah, because the lot of the stuff that came with it was like the arcade stuff. Like the wired controller and 20 gig hard drive, but I think he might just brought that. Wait, arcade... Yeah, 20 gig, I think. Yeah. So here you go. Perfect under there. Put this. Yeah, so that's the console itself. It's pretty good everywhere. Underneath, it's pretty good. Uh, one sec. Yep, just as good underneath as it is on the rest. So yeah. Let's go on to the other parts which came with this console, okay? Alright, so I'll put the Xbox away to show you a few other things. First, I'll just show you the hard drive. The Microsoft hard drive, you can tell by well, all of this on the back, Microsoft sticker. Yeah, it's not in the best condition, it's got quite a few marks and scratches, but I, I really don't care. So you can see, like, scratches on the, here, yeah, there. And yeah, it's 20 gigs hard drive, yeah, that's what it is, 20 gigabytes, so, yeah. Um, just put that to the side. Alright, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the game, Xbox Live Arcade, probably broken packaging, the, the box, I don't really care, probably just change it, it's pretty good condition, 
overall. Uh, yeah, it's got some nice little games like Pac Man and stuff. I like it, I'll probably enjoy this for a little bit. Is that a fish game? Oh my god, this fish game I remember playing on a plane. I just realised that now. I remember playing this game when I was in a plane. Pretty sure it's this game, it's gotta be this game. Yeah, it's quite a few years back. Back when the Xbox 360 was like the newest console and stuff, when I was pretty young, going on holiday. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Xbox Live Arcade compilation disc. Probably the most boring part here, I'll just get it out of the way. It is the. One second. Yeah, it's the AV cable. It's the original Microsoft one. It was like the switch and everything. Yeah. Then on the end, you got this. Then this one's composite or component. I'm not sure. You guys tell me in the comments. Here you go. So, yeah, we'll just put that away. Now, the best part of with what came with the Xbox, other than the Xbox, is the controller. Yeah, I got a controller. I got a lot of stuff with this. Yeah, let's put the wires in. It's a wired one. It's a white one. Really cool. I've wanted one of the white ones, not the original ones, because I've got the slim ones. Those are cool, but I wanted one of these. So yeah, here it is. It's actually in super good condition. If you look here, those dimples are still out. Yeah, like they're not like worn away like on other controllers. Here, let me show you. Like on this one, it literally is just flattened out now. You can see. Yeah. So. So this one's like same here. So it feels literally brand new. The buttons up here are a bit worn in. You can tell it's been like played with, but it's not like in bad condition at all. Like here has got all the stickers and everything. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. Really happy with that. So that's here's the stuff that it came with. Hard drive, controller, game and A V. I'm actually surprised. Like, this guy sent the stuff, like, I was expecting him to just not send anything, because of how cheap I got it for, you get what I mean? Yeah, so, it did not come with a power brick, because, uh, he had it in his wardrobe for eight years, so this story, yeah, he had it in his wardrobe for eight years, and so, what happened is, like, he brought it back out, so he, like, sent it, I guess, and he just remembered it, and now... He couldn't find it, so he, it was actually untested because he couldn't test it. But to my surprise, the Xbox is in fully working work, work in order, and that's really good. I'm really happy with that. So, yeah, so I'm actually going to just uh, connect my power brick to it. Because what happened, I got a power brick because a few years ago I brought these Red Winged Death Xboxes, and I thought I could fix them. That failed, of course. And um, so I still got the power brick, which I'm happy I do, because it would have been like an extra £10. Which is literally like more than the Xbox. So yeah, I'll just be back once I've connected everything. Alright, so guys, I'm back with the Xbox connected to a power brick. And I'll put the AV so you don't get the four red lights to show that it's not, that it's not connected. So here we go. Very loud, of course. That makes weird noises. I don't know if that's normal. And yeah, no red ring. And there you go, pretty nice. Then of course it gets super loud, and then it gets quiet. Yeah, so, another thing, in this disk drive, it came with PES 2008 here, and I am, I'm actually pretty happy with that, because I played it and I find it very fun to play around like with my cousins and my sister and stuff here. It's just fun, and it's actually very good condition. Not a scratch in sight, well a few scratches, but pretty good yeah no box because he i don't even think he remembered himself or knew himself that's in there because of course he didn't test it so i had a feeling something like that was going to happen and i'm happy it did Yo guys, I'm back, got it hooked up to the TV, 
and yeah let's start it up yeah um yeah there we go so let's start up what's up guys see my reflection ish so yeah we we'll start it up now so here we go we've got the second generation light cone screen never played any of the older screens at all and i don't have my hard drive plugged in so um no profile it came without no profiles or anything so yeah let's connect to uh, put a game in i'll probably put in yeah live we'll play xbox live arcade it's also in fantastic condition a lot of this stuff is like nearly new and I'm, I'm really happy with that i just can't believe i got it for under five quid this thing's worth at least 30. Yeah, so let's start it up and maybe play one game. Yeah, I'll probably play one game, show you how it is. Proper loud. And it sounds kind of broken, but I'm sure it's not. I think that's just how it is. Yeah, look, it's got the old blade kind of thing on it. Yeah, so one sec, let me just put this up and then we'll... Alright, guys, back. Got the it on the stand. Let's play a game. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, I'll play easy enough. I'll play Feeding Frenzy. Because I have a feeling this is the one I was talking about earlier. Well, I hope it is at least. I know it's super loud. The yeah, Xbox. Well. So I'll press A. No, it's this. No, please. Oh, I'll be back with my hard drive in. Alright, I'm back with the hard drive in. Should work now. Let's go. Let's play a bit of feeding frenzy. Don't want to play too long, don't want to take too long. You know. Just want to. I know it's probably got a red ring at one point or another because they're all like ticking time bombs like everyone says. Yeah, continue. What do I do? Do I eat people or what? I don't know if this is the game that it was because I think you had to tap in the other one. So eat him. This is a bit like that shark game on the phone. So I eat little stuff. It's not like, very good with a stick because like, you're not as precise. You get what I mean? That'd be fun, I like this game. I don't think you guys really want to watch me play this before. You eat? Oh, I need a frenzy. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so let's just like get a frenzy or like fully grown or something like that. And then like, we'll turn it off. If you guys want to see any gameplay, I'm not sure if I want to mod this, like I think of it as like Flash the, the thing. And uh, maybe if you guys want to see like a, a, a Pez 2008 gameplay, like this big guy's here. Can't eat him yet. Oh, this game's so fun. Am I still gonna be big? Yeah. Let's go there. Yeah, I'm big. I'm not sure. I think he yeah, he just looks in your yeah, he kinda of like tries to follow you. It's a big one. Yeah. I wonder what happens before I reach the third one. I think yeah, you win like that. So yeah, let's just finish one level and then I guess I'll finish. I can I can I like this game. Look at it. kind of feels like an indie game. I think that's what it is. It's like these mini arcade games, obviously. The next one's live arcade. And they're really fun. I wish there was that like, Frogger on this one. Like those kind of games. Like, Damn, man, come on. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it completely fucking works. So. I'm not lying about Sweet Country. I'll, I'll probably try to get a picture on there of uh, how it. 
how it came and like the page. Probably show those all at the end. But yeah. Just at this point, just finish it, yeah. And I'll come back to that. Yeah, I'm done. Well, that's like 2005 books. You can see people making this a, a like a game nowadays on the phone. Yeah, let's turn to arcade and play one more game. Let's see. Oh. Four games. You hear that? That's, is that normal? I saw some games on there a minute ago. Did you guys see that? Oh okay, yeah, 3D Ultra Mini World. Boom Boom Rocket Feeding Baby. Frogger. Lock 13. Marble Blast Ultra. Pac Man's Champion Edition. Soul Creo Solitaire. Surf's Up Demo. Uno. Viva Pinata Demo. Zuma. Let's play a bit of Frogger then. Or do you have to unlock the phone? Yeah, play trial, whatever. Just play it. It's not that okay, this is like hidden games. Oh, yeah. The, uh. We'll just show you Frogger quickly and then. Done? Yeah. Hope you guys like the video so far. I'm so happy I've got this one. Like, you guys, I don't see you guys in this one. And this is such a good condition, it's such a gem, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or sell it or do what. I kind of want to just keep it exactly how it is now that I'm not changing anything. I also want to play loads of games and I want this to just be my console. Now, I've got a slim but I've put that downstairs. And I kind of just want this to stay here and be like my main game and console. And I guess if, if and when this dies I'll get a Jasper. Definitely want a Jasper. I saw a Resident Evil one. Seriously want that. And that's got LT3 Pro which is a... Um, I swear, like a burning thing, yeah. I suck at these kind of games. What does green make? Is that make it cool? Oh! But what? No. Then let's just like, I want to make one level before the end of this. Yeah, so let's hope I can do that. Yeah. Hope at least someone watches this. Why well, is this the original one, like a remake? No, come on, I didn't count. I'm not sure, I'm not good with this stuff. Green means good. Alright, yeah, I thought green means good. Do you have to reach the bulb or can I switch anywhere? That's my question. Are you gonna like give me this mad montage? Oh, I'm still going, I thought I was just showing you that face. Yeah, so see you guys, this is it, it's my Xbox here, yeah, it's all done, yeah, really happy with it, so yeah, super good deal, I've got to say that at least, can't really complain at all, like, no matter what, like, even if this came red ringed, I wouldn't have cared, because I, I would have kept the game and the controller, so yeah, see ya.